uh, Senator McCain. Dr. Altman, I'm here in Council Bluffs, uh, Iowa, and uh, Senator John McCain standing right over there. Right there. It's him, right there. Go ahead. We'll pan over there. Watch this. It's him. Yeah, there he is. At any rate, he's been here standing on this platform. They talk a lot about platforms and politics. Now I teach physics. What do I know about platforms? At any rate, I want to I want to see this platform and see whether or not it can withstand his weight. Let's look. Begin by telling you a brief story that happened to me not long before I retired from the United States Navy. I was over in San Diego at the officers' club having a Coca-Cola at the bar, as most fighter pilots do. As you know, <laughs> standing next to me. Uh, was this really old, senile-looking uh, guy. In fact, he looked a lot like Colonel Orson Swingle. And, <laughs> and I, I, I was in uniform, and I saw he was wearing one stripe on his sleeve, as, which, as you know, is the lowest rank you can have and still be an officer. And I engaged him in conversation. I said, how long were you in the Navy? He said, 37 years. I said, 37 years, and you were never promoted? He said, no. I said, why? He said, I was based at the first squadron at Guadalcanal early in World War II, Henderson Field. Every night, one Japanese airplane used to fly over our field. We called him Marshal Machine Charlie. It was just a harassment raid. But the siren would go off, I'd have to come out of my tent, get into my airplane, start the engine, sit there, and pretty soon, because it was just old Marshal Machine Charlie, the all-clear siren would go off, and I'd shut down the engine, and get out of my airplane and go back to bed. It was killing me. I wasn't getting any sleep. The food was lousy. I solved the problem. I went out in the jungle and I caught this monkey. And I trained this monkey that when the siren went off, he'd come out of the jungle, get into my airplane, start the engine, sit there, and then the all clear siren would go off and he would shut down the engine of my airplane and get out and go back into the jungle. Well, it was wonderful. I was sleeping like a baby every night. It was a great thing. Well, one night, it was not washing machine Charlie. It was a real Japanese airplane. I came out of my tent just in time to see that monkey taken off in my airplane. <laughs> so I can certainly see why you are not promoted. But that's not what makes me mad. The monkey retired as an admiral. <laughs> I think I might have served with that month. I, know that I, would, I would never say that. All right, let's look at this platform. The men were standing on it. Gravity was pulling them down towards the center of the Earth. The only thing that could support this platform is an equal force pushing upwards. Now, that equal force is supplied by wood. Wood compresses under the weight, but the molecular structure of it allows it to rebound, producing an upward force. And if the downward force of weight and the upward force of compression are equal, then the platform is sound. And I would say that Senator McCain had an extremely sound platform. He was a cool guy, too. Thanks a lot. I drove 1,700 miles to be here today. Oh, sure, I'm honored you're here. And we didn't even have a picture here. No, I've got my video camera going. Oh, okay, I'm a great. physics teacher traveling around the country doing projects. But you're busy. Take care. Thank you for your Thanks time. Thanks for coming. Hey, I am uh, 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 Oswego, New York. Oh, wonderful. I am uh, very home? impressed. Very impressed. Oh, thank you.